So what did you see on the it looked like a slider that probably stayed in the middle. I don't. I didn't go back and look at the replay of it, but he got it, got the barrel out front on a on an off speed pitch. Q, what did you what did you think of Seth tonight? Started out great. I mean, the efficiency of those first couple innings was great. They started to make him work a little bit in the third and and then the fifth again. Um, but his stuff was good. Just kind of. I don't know if they were. You know, just off the plate or whatever, just couldn't start to fall behind a little bit in the third and fourth, and the pitch count got up. He had to work pretty hard there. Uh, you uh, issued a lot of walks, obviously, in this series. Uh, you're tipping your cap to the Yankees, or do you think your pitchers will have to execute that much better in the in the fourth game to, you know, avoid all the bases on balls, although only one scored tonight. Both. I mean, you got to tip your cap to them. I mean, they're not chasing, they're not expanding, but we also have to do a better job of limiting those for sure. Matt, once you guys broke through with the two runs, did you have the sense that you'd be able to generate more? And, and, and why don't you think you did? Yeah, I thought you know we had Bobby coming to the plate there uh, with after the Massey triple, and you know we're always going to feel good about being in the middle of the order there. But you do have to give them some credit. Their bullpen has pitched extremely well in this series and has been a, a difference maker for them. So we have to find a way to execute, scratch something across there, take what they give us, and um, so far we haven't been able to do that against the bullpen. Bobby did get a walk there and then got the single in the eighth. I mean, hopeful if that can kind of get him unlocked a little bit uh, moving forward into game four. Sure, yeah, absolutely. We'd love to see him go off and have a huge day, but, you know, we know, I mean, these guys are in the position they're in for a reason. They pitch really well. The bullpen's been lights out, so he's he's going to get pitched tough as we've talked about. So he's going to have to, you know, can't miss the one or two pitches that he gets. Matt, what do you think of Brady Singer's appearance tonight against Aaron Judge? Yeah, it was a huge spot in the game. You know, you know, we have Brady down there. We have a ton of faith in him in those situations, and he came in first time that I've seen him work out of the pen, and he he wasn't scared. He got ahead of him and went to work. Kind of on that spot, like he knows he's not starting in these games. You got to prepare him that that would maybe be who he faces when you guys go through all your scenarios. And he knows that, yeah. I mean, he's he's aware of you know his strengths and you know we trust him against the best hitters in the league. And we knew you know he knew going into this series that that would be a, a possibility. You feel that the players were. Are they are ready for the level of intensity that you're getting in these games? Because there's just no margin for error. Do I feel like they're ready? The intensity, if they sure. I mean, they're competing like crazy. I mean, the, every one of these games has been a really good ball game. You know, we've we've walked too many guys, but you know, and they've been relatively low scoring games, tight games. I mean, the, both teams are putting their best foot forward. Can you elaborate a little bit more on what you like about that singer judge matchup beyond just the the right on right? Why? What? Why were you? So All the reasons we like Brady to begin with. He throws strikes. He challenges guys. He's got ground ball capabilities, and he can strike guys out with the slider. Um, in the in the fifth there, uh, were you kind of hoping to, for Seth to face Judge again? I just how, how do you kind of work through that when he when it came through the top of their lineup? Uh, Soto and then Judge. He faced Soto and Judge then. Was I hoping he would face Judge? Not hoping, but did you just like the matchup with Lugo and, and Judge there? Well, you know, I, a lot of things went through my mind. We had Zerpa up, um, but when the bases were loaded, that's a really tough spot to bring somebody in. It's also a tough spot knowing that there was only one out and then Zerpa's going to get Judge most likely unless you get a double play ball. Um, so we are, for a lot of reasons, where we are because of our starting pitchers, and I have a tremendous amount of faith in Seth. Um, you know, and to get out of that with one run was a victory at that point, regardless of who was pitching. Was uh, Fam only going to bat if it was two outs and nobody on, uh, righty against righty, or because he needed a home run, or was he just going to hit there anyway? There were scenarios where Frazier would have continued to hit there, but not with, not in that one. This was your first taste of playoff baseball here in Kansas City. What did you think about this crowd in the Coppin Stadium? Oh, they were fired up. You know, I wish we had been able to keep them on the edge of their seat a little bit more, but I looked up there a couple times and everybody was standing, you know, even in the second inning, third inning. Um, so that was really impressive. I mean, 
it was loud. You know, when we got the runs going, it was really loud, and that was cool to see. Uh, Matt, when, when Bobby got the single in the eighth, did you consider sending him? Sure, yeah, but uh, Weaver's like a 1-1 one, one to the plate. Um, you know, we it would be a big risk there, with especially with where we were in the batting order, but it was, you know, Bobby's able to go there, but clearly that's a really tough matchup for us to steal a base. You, the mess he throw to uh, first base, was that a bad was that a bad throw? Or you know what? I had a really bad angle on that. I mean, when I looked up, the throw was low, but I, can't, I don't know. You guys could tell me. I don't know if it bounced or if he just dropped it. So I, I don't know if it was – I don't have a good answer for it. I don't want to make something up because I didn't – I got kind of blocked. The runner and Guriel were, had their back, and I, I didn't see it well. How do things change for you going into an elimination game? Um, the game obviously has a sense of Well, I mean, all hands will be on deck, right? I mean, you have to put everything out there to try to stave off elimination. But, you know, we have Waka going. We have a ton of confidence in him. So, you know, we're going to approach it like a, like a regular game, but understand what the gravity of the situation is. Thank you.